guys, it's Tania, and today I will be responding to some popular TikTok color, which they have now deemed the skunk stripe. If you have not been on TikTok and seen the heavily, overly populated patch of color, generally here, maybe here, and sometimes they do it in the back, um, this is what we're going to be responding to today. In the professional color world, we call this color blocking. I myself have some sections of color blocking in my own hair. And it's where you block off certain sections and you do a full section of some other color than the color of your normal head of hair. Um, so you can switch it up. You don't have to always do the generic blonde that you see on TikTok, but that's just because these are unprofessional colors being done. So we're going to do um, a couple and see what they turn out like. That blonde color, I don't want my skunk shirt to be like that blonde color that everybody else got because I did dye my hair. I will insert some clips right there. And it was really cute, you know, it was giving, but it just matched with my skin tone a little bit too much and I didn't really like it. So I decided to do a blue color and I'm gonna show you guys color real quick. I decided to get this baby blue. It's really cute, I'll add a pink. Okay, you guys. Two things wrong with this already. I love her excitement. However, baby blue, especially baby blue, um, is going to have to be put on almost white hair. So when I say almost white, what I mean is the inside of a banana is the tone of blonde you will need in order to be able to achieve any tone of blue without it looking green. That is because blue and yellow make green. So you got to put the blue on the inside of a banana, not the outside of a banana, or you will not see any blue tones. My second problem is a door. Um, this is great to use on wigs and um, weft hair or weave or extensions. But this particular line on the natural hair um, tends to bleed very badly, but it also stains the cuticle super, 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 super concentrated. So when trying to lift off, you always want to think of what will you do next. When trying to lift off, this is one of the brands that gets completely stuck in the cuticle sometimes and is very hard to get out of the hair. So let's see how this goes picture right here so you guys can really see the color um of course it's actually not that light like that it's a little bit it got a seal on it but it's not gonna be actually this light you know it's gonna be a little bit darker but i just got two quick it's gonna be green three blue bleach packets and i already had developer from when i be dyeing my wigs and when i bleach my knots so i'm gonna use one of these i got 20 30 and 40 i think i'm gonna i hope she uses 30 and not the 20 or the 40 the 20 only because she's colored her hair before, which means that I don't see blonde anywhere. So that gives me already the idea that she's put black on top to get rid of whatever she had before. So as a hairstylist brain, I immediately am thinking of underlying pigments and the tonal value of what I'm going to be trying to neutralize. Uh, so the 20 is going to be slow and steady. It's just not going to get her where she needs to be. A 30 is going to be slow and steady, but wins the race. The 40 is going to be the hair and the tortoise in the hair. It is not going to get the job done because it is not going to be slow enough to cut through as many levels of undertones that have warmth in them that she needs for them to cut through. But let's see which one she chooses. I end up using a 31 because I think that's what everybody be using. And I don't really have that. I'm so proud of her. I'm 20, so I might end up mixing a 20 and 30. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. So, so science class right now, if she mixes the 20 and the 30, it will no longer be the strength of the 20, I mean the 30. This will create a 25. It bumps up the 20, but it dilutes the 30 a little. Um, we do mix developers occasionally, uh, but when we mix them, it's not the way that you would assume so let's say you have a 40 developer and you have a 20 developer you can mix those two to create create a 30. you wouldn't do 40 and 10 like your brain would automatically think because of math in color you would do the developer above and the developer below to create the developer in the middle y'all gonna see what i do in the video and i also got this um 
this treatment conditioner pack because I have conditioner. I have Mio conditioner, but I wanted to do a, like a deep conditioner pack. So I got this. My hair is dirty. It's in a ponytail. Y'all know the edge looking a little crusty. I look a little bogus. I'm not about to wash my hair when I'm about to do Good job. It's better to color your hair dirty than it is to color it clean. You, when you wash it or shampoo it, you're already stripping off tons of natural oils and other things and aggravating the cuticle. So if you're going to go in and lighten your hair, it's generally best to do it on dirty hair unless it's just very, 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 very dirty and has a lot of buildup. Then you would want to shampoo it lightly so that you do not have inconsistencies in the saturation of the color. Do is take this point out and brush my hair through. It doesn't make sense for me to wash my hair, bleach it, then turn around and wash my hair again. So I'm not gonna do that. But what I am gonna do is brush out my. I do like her way of thinking though. She should probably go to hair school. She would be very successful because she's already on the right track. Hair so. Let's just get on. Okay, y'all. So the lighting is not bad. I just don't feel like turning on. Oh, wait, two lights. Does I like this light more or this light? I think I like this light more. Oh, yeah, if y'all trying to figure out like why I'm struggling with my light and my ring light is not in my mom's house, it's at my auntie's house. I left it, so we're on a you know, we're working with everything that we got. If I was to show y'all what I have my camera sitting on right now, y'all be like, you'd be like, girl, you're so good. I'm, actually, I'm gonna show y'all. It's literally on this, it's literally not even on a tripod or nothing, it's just. Sitting on a shoebox. Okay, y'all. So I got done kind of brushing my hair. It was hurting too bad, so I stopped. But what I'm about to do is part my skunk stripe. But I gotta figure out what side I want the skunk stripe to be on. I think I'm going to put it on this side only because I have a piercing right here, and I feel like it's more aesthetically pleasing. Even though, like, the piercing is going through a lot right now. It has a uh, piercing bump, bump when it's, and it looks kind of ugly, but... It's called a keloid, and let me give you another tip. Vitamin E. If you don't have the oil, buy the capsules, open the capsule, put the vitamin E oil on your keloid, it will go down. Or take a Tylenol or an aspirin, crush it up, put it on there, it'll go down as well. But, <laughs> it's gonna look cute once I treat it the right way, okay? Okay, y'all, so finally I'm going to part my hair. And as y'all can see, this is the back section. It's not that much. Now I know for sure that she colored her hair. As you can see, the light, um, the lightest part of the blonde does not match the bottom. So she either had color prior to lifting it or she tried to get rid of it at some point and it faded off oddly because the roots were probably brighter when she originally done this color because your heat from your head generally allows you to have hotter roots in the hair world. We call that hot roots. So she had hot roots. So that means her hair was either not virgin and her roots lifted uh, better. That's why the ends have a different tonal value or she redeposited color when she didn't like it and the roots were lifted brighter and so they were a little more porous so they sucked up the color and spit it right back out and the bottom accepted it a little bit more so now i know for sure she had color much hair it's really like a little bit of hair in the back that was already dyed and it just looks really bad this is my skunk stripe right here as y'all see my hair is so dirty please don't be in the comments like your hair i know my hair is dirty like you don't have to tell me i, I can clearly see that my hair is dirty so that's my skunk stripe right there and um i am happy that she's not doing like most of these videos i see where the people take a whole huge section of their hair and then it's more of a skunk section than a stripe so, that's really smart of her. You know, it's not the straightest, but like I said, I wear wigs all the time. I don't really wear my natural hair. So, if it comes out crooked or anything like that, I won't be too, like, mad or nothing. Because, like, I don't wear my natural hair. And I don't get braids. So, yeah. But, let's just get right into this. And I'm nervous now because it's really... Just really my hair on the line. Not saying I can't just cut it, but like I could cut the back off, but and get like an undercut, but I can't cut the the front off. I ain't gonna have no hair. I don't know if I want to do them at the same time. Not the same. Yes, do them at the same time. It's not like go back and forth, but I think I'm gonna do the back and then 
Um, no, nah, I'm gonna do the front first, then I'm gonna do the back because the back I only gotta do the roots and the roots. Um, not really the roots, but it's it's like a whatever. Y'all, let's just. She was about to say the roots live faster. I could tell where her brain was going. This girl is actually kind of smart. She knows a lot. I don't. I I hope this turns out. <laughs> Love that she's trying to saturate it. I hate that she's using a comb. She's doing much better with just using her hands and she's wearing gloves. So all of these are great things. Put a bag on my head and I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes and I'm going to come back to you guys when it's time to rinse. 15 minutes will not be enough. I really, really hope that she sits the entire 45 to 50 minutes that the lightener will actively be aggressively working and trying to diminish the melanin pigment within her cuticle because if she only waits 15 minutes, she's only going to get to a level 7, which is brassy, bronzy, Beyonce blonde, and that is not going to be blonde enough for blue. That's my hair. 15 minutes later okay y'all so i took it out just to see how it looked and this is how it looks it looks okay i uh actually should not be touching this with my hand why am i doing this um let me hurry up and go rinse this out of my hair i'm gonna come back to you guys with my wrist out here okay so this is how it told you it always looks white when the lightener is on it the lightener is blue the lightener is white it is there to um change the tonal value so that it looks like it's toning the hair She's at a level 7 now. This is a level 7. This is not even a level 8. A level 8 is the outside of a banana. This is a little bit darker than that. This is not going to be... Her hair is going to be turquoise. It looks when I washed it out. I have to wash my hair again because obviously like some bleach got on my hair. But it's like very golden-y. Um, it looks cute like this. My friend says she don't think it's light enough to put the... Your friend is correct. The blue on it, but I was just looking at the inside. Like, it is going to be very light. I even poured a little bit right here. But you're not going to really know how light it is to you as you put it on your hair. This is how the back of my hair looks. Um, It's all shrunk up. I should have just wet my whole hair, but I hate wet clothes on me. So, I didn't want to have to deal with it dripping. But I don't know if I should bleach it again. Honestly, I don't really. I wish she would bleach it again. If she bleached it one more time, this could turn out so bomb. If you ever see my videos, girl, hit me up, Tania Monroe. Come at me. I will do your hair for free just to get you the type of blue you need because a blueberry would look so great on you. I want to just in case because I be seeing people who hair just start to like fall out and I will literally cry myself to sleep until it grows back because, um, yeah, I need my hair. Okay, so this is how my hair looks after the second bleach and it didn't really get no lighter. The roots are What? Wait, no, mm -mm. Mm. is it, I wonder what developer she used the second time. She should have used 10 or 20. You go down. So if you're going to do multiple session lightening processes to achieve a color that you're trying to achieve that is higher on the scale, you need to do multiple sessions and each time lower the developer. I know that it sounds odd and you think, hmm, why does that work that way? But when Color is done to lift. This is what happens molecularly. Within your hair shaft, you have what's called your cortex. It is the most inner strength of your hair, and it is where all of your permanent actions happen. So inside of there, imagine these little nerds. You know how nerds are clusters? So there's little clusters, and all of these little clusters are melanin pigment. The darker your hair is, the more clusters you have. When lightener comes through the cuticle, which is like this, so the lightener comes through the cuticle, it goes and attacks those clusters. First, it breaks the clusters into single little nerds. Then, it tries to make the single little nerds diminish until they disappear. 
The more of the clusters that disappear, the lighter your hair tends to go. If your hair is really dark, you may need to do multiple sessions. So if you start with a 30 developer, it's going to go in and it's going to break them apart, bust them apart, boom, boom, bomb. And it may get rid of some of them. Then when you go in the second time with a 20 developer or a 10 developer, it's going to actually go a little slow. So now that all of these clusters are broken apart, it can actually sit on the nerds and just kind of like smush and smush and smush until they're nothing. I hope that makes sense still light and then from here to like here it's still kind of dark it looks good though like i did a really good job and she did a very 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 good job as far as the lifting the saturation the evenness that's why i say she should go to school because she's halfway there as far as talent wise and her saturation is impeccable i also teach cosmetology so to see someone do this and i have 40 50 students i think that this is great she has amazing talent you should come on and come to school, girlfriend, because you will do dope things. Her saturation is impeccable. Even her roots in the back. It's like one shade off, but for her to be doing that herself in the back of her head, fire. My hair still feels like it feels okay. So I actually did just dry out this bow. And her hair texture is not changed. If you look at the dark curls right next to the other ones, her curls are still very much so intact. So she really did some really great work, but... She just doesn't know the information behind to make sure that she's reaching the proper shade of blonde in order to ensure that blue can work. Oh, and I actually put the color inside the bowl. I'm not going to use too much color because y'all know a little color goes a long way. Kind of nervous, but I think it's going to come out really cute. I feel like it's going to be ombre. I feel like this part is going to be super light and this part is going to be darker. But that's totally fine because I don't really want my natural hair like that to begin with. <laughs> putting the dye on the back and this is how it looks and y'all can clearly see how the front looks so i'm gonna let it stay for 20 minutes in a cab instead of 15. um i don't think leaving it on longer is gonna do anything to your hair correct she is right again oh my god girl you are smart i love it personally i don't think i left my dye on for a while one time and it didn't do anything you know it still came out the same color that it always comes out uh, I think they just give you a time limit just because some people don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to come back to you guys when it's time. Well, I'm going to come back to you guys when I rinse my hair out. So, yeah. Turquoise, teal, aqua, something around there. Okay, y'all, so this is how Told you. the color looks. I am what you call in freaking love. Like, it's like a teal, green, blue color. It's so freaking pretty and vibrant. I can't wait to slip my hair up. It's going to be so cute. Like, it's really, really cute. Um, This had a back looks. You know, cute. I actually thought it was going to come out darker, like, to a point where, like, you couldn't even really see it. But, baby, you could definitely see it. I really, really like it. I really like it. But I did not condition my hair, so I'm about to condition my hair. Use my whatever it's called, dimming brush, to... The tangle and then i'm going to um i don't know so yeah okay y'all so this is how the hair looks it came out like a greenish blue type color you know y'all see it i do have conditioner in my hair i just wanted to kind of style it because it was all in my face and it looked very like untamed so i just put it in like this little ponytail this part is definitely like light, light, light blue. It came out like a tillish green color. I love it so much. I'm going to come back to you guys when it's like styled and like looking all cute. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys how it looked with conditioner in it. I don't know what style I'm going to do yet. But just know it's not going to look like this when, you know, I'm, I wear it outside. So let's get on to like the styling process. Okay, y'all. So this is the final product. It is currently like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I just now got done blow drying my hair. The only reason why I didn't start it, like I said, because it's 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm super duper tired. In the thumbnail, I'll probably have a style and I'll probably do a video on me 
um doing that style which is probably going to be something like something like this might not be this exact style but it's going to be something like this but if you guys stay to the end y'all already know what i'm about to say you was a real one make sure you guys follow me on my instagram make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video so like i said turned out to her roots are a little blue but they're still not blue they're more like mermaid blue which is like watery which is like green and blue together so yeah although it did not come out the blue she wanted it looks super cute on her um i wish that she would now go and get an actual turquoise or aquamarine or teal and resaturate this so that it can all be one and it would look so dope and i wish she would not use the adore brand sorry adore i mean you guys are great for wigs and such and especially water coloring but on natural hair especially or real hair i just do not feel like the pigment is strong enough to saturate properly or maybe it's the consistency the texture the viscosity one of those things yeah no shade to y'all your boy they waiting on who next